YouTube family, this is me, Kaya, coming back at you again. I had told you that I was actually retouching up my crochet braid. So what I have done is I have took some of the sides out and I took um, the top out. The reason why I did that is because um, it had like a lot of blonde in it and I wanted to kind of stay a little bit shy of the blonde. I wanted to go ahead and just use the black. Um, the actual hair that I am using is called the Jamaican um, the Jamaican Braids. It's by Femi. I love it, love it, love it. I did have my hair long, but what I went ahead and did is just cut it like a bob. I'm going to wear it as a short style. You know how I do it. I get sick of hair real quick, so um, I'm going to just wear it short for a little bit. And then hopefully, like, after Christmas, that's what I want to be able to take my hair down and then decide on what I'm going to do with it because, you know, I'm always doing something different with it but I just wanted to have a nice protective style to just let it breathe just for a little bit. Um, my actual style that I'm about to do is kind of inspiration. Um, Carrie Hilson actually made me think of it again. Um, you know T-Boz off Creep that video. I'm going to make my hair sort of similar to that. Um, I loved her hair and I really liked the way it looked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just start. Um, I'm going to do the crochet braiding. What, I ha what you have to have is you have to have a crochet needle and you also have to have a hair common sense. Um, I did do another video on doing crochet weaving but I didn't really show you guys. It was kind of more like pictures so I wanted to show you guys live. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you're actually going to stick the crochet needle right inside of your hair just like this. You should have already have cornrowed your own natural hair. And what I do is I hold my weave in one hand and I put the actual weave right on that hook. Right where you see the hook and I hold it. And you want to be really gentle with this hair because you do not want to disturb it. The less you disturb it, the better because it will not look good, you guys, if you um, make a mistake and let it get fuzzy. So um, what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and close the actual crochet needle. Always know that you have to have your actual crochet needle closed before you send it back through the actual hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to it and send it back through. Okay, you see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hold this. And I took off the needle and I am going to go ahead and I'm holding this hair and I'm going to stick it right inside of it and I'm going to give it a good pull. Um, if I was you, go ahead and give it, you can go ahead and tighten it if you want. It's best to go ahead and just give it one little tie and then see, once you give it the tie, it's good. So I'm just going to just going to keep on continuing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another one. I'm going to stick it, um, make sure you stick it um, right up under the area that you want to be able to, um, you know, add the crochet to. And always know you want to always not add too much hair, but you want to add enough because you never want it to be um, too thick and you never want it to be actually too thin. So what you're going to do is going to go ahead and choose you another one. Make sure um, you get the ones that's like really tightly coiled because once they get uncoiled, they do get fuzzy. Um, so again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it and repeat the same process. Going to hold it right there, close the little latch, and I'm going to send it through. And I'm going to hold it. I'm going to play with it, move it just a little bit. And I am going to take the other hair and I am going to loop it right inside of it. And I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to give it a tie. You don't have to tie it, but I just like to tie it just to be on the safe side. And I think it looks better too when you tie it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep on continuing. And one thing what I did was when I first did my crochet braids, I um, added way too much hair. So see what where you where you're going before you start adding hair. You want to see how it's looking. You want to see if it's too thick, and if it's too thick, you want to you know make sure you don't put any in that area because you don't want it to be too thick. So again, just I'm just gonna just keep on completing the, the same process over and over again. Pull it through, give it a good tug, be very gentle, because again, you don't want to disturb the curl. Give it a good tie, and there you go. And I'm just gonna just keep on going up. And I'm liking the black um a lot. And even if you don't get them all straight, that's cool because when you have dreads, I mean, don't nobody, ain't no dreads perfect. To me, the more unperfect they are, the more they look real. That's why I like it. And you just close the latch and go down. And what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to do a little bit more and I'm going to come back at you because I know y'all got the steps of how I was showing you to do it. So I'll be back at you guys in just moments. Bye. Okay, you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep on crocheting and I'm just going to be quiet and you just, you guys just watch me how I do it.
you always want to pay attention to the way that the hair is laying because you want it to lay correctly so watch out the way that it's laying also while you putting the weave in and what I mean by that you want it to lay in the proper style that you, whatever style you want it to be in that's the way you want to lay the hair close the latch pull it through And I could just feel where I took it out at because I could feel where the braids, the corn, cornrows don't have any hair there. So that's how I'm actually knowing which way to go. I'm just kind of feeling my way through. Always make sure the latch is closed um, when you pull it through because if it's not, it's going to get all caught up in your hair and all caught up in your own cornrow. Hooking it all to that latch right there. Closing it and I'm sending it through. Make sure you guys, before you send it through, um, the actual um, crochet, the actual braid is even with the other one. You never want to send it through if it's not even. If you do send it through, if it's not even, you just want to make sure you get it even before you tie it all. So I'm going to keep on continuing and I'll be back at you guys once I am finished because I think y'all got the hang of things. But again, make sure that you having the hair laid the proper way that you want the actual style to be. So I'll be back at you guys. Bye. Okay, you guys, I have this side right here done completely. Um, what I have done also is I sprayed just a little bit of spray, uh, hairspray, any type of holding spray would do, just so it can just stay where I want it to stay also. And I am going to go ahead and complete the other side. Um, and once I get finished with this side, I'll come back at you guys. And don't forget to check and see what you're doing before you're actually doing the crochet so you can see how much hair you really need. So I'll come back at you guys. Bye. Okay, I'm going to see what's going on so I can make sure I don't add too much hair. Okay, I see I need to add some like right up in here, all up in here. When you know your retouch up, it's best just go ahead and buy two packs of hair just to be on the safe side because it's always to have too much hair than not enough. So.
And what I'm going to do once I'm done with the actual style, I'm going to go back and cut it then. I wouldn't cut it until I'm done with the style, so. Okay, y'all, I think y'all got the hang of things. Once I am done, I will come back with the results and I'll check back out with y'all. I want to thank y'all guys so much for all you new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, if you will, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. If you got a video that you want me to make, let me know and I'll make it for you. Just email me. Um, everybody, take care, be blessed, and I'll be back at you guys with pictures. Bye, you guys. Oh yeah, and what I did do when I did retouch up my um, actual um, crochet braids, when I had my natural hair showing, I put uh, shea butter all in my cornrows and so I can be able to get it in my scalp. So make sure you do um, give yourself like some kind of scalp, um, some kind of scalp massage or oil your scalp while you are able to get to it. Um, that's when I usually always oil my scalp and stuff. So I am almost finished and I'll be back once with the finished results. Okay, bye.